On today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this Dell OptiPlex 3020. It's a very common computer. Uh, it's marketed as gaming usually. You see them on Newegg, Walmart.com, eBay, Amazon, tons of places like that, AliExpress. They usually take these old office PCs, put a cheap graphics card in it, and throw some Fortnite pictures on the thumbnail and say, gaming PC. Well, they can game. I mean, if you like to play Solitaire, but you ain't gonna play no AAA games. You ain't gonna play many games that's newer, that takes, you know, a little horsepower under the hood, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this video ain't about the Optiplex, how it's marketed, usually, and how you find them. This PC is broken. So, when you're troubleshooting any PC, if it's yours, you was all you know what happened but if you troubleshooting it for a friend or family or doing it as a anything you know a business however you do it you need to pretty well know what happened it makes your job easier that's the best way i can explain it so you ask the person how did this happen well this computer here it was not running the best it could had a lot of stuff on it that uh been downloaded you know how kids are and they wanted to try to fix it by doing a new Windows install. And I guess the install, either the power got shut off, it got unplugged. Hopefully it wasn't a BIOS install I tried to did. It just quit displaying. It won't display no more. So what do I think happened to this? Well, I'm not 100%. Could be many reasons this quit displaying. So let's just go ahead and open it up. Now let's blue tape this on here because it does got a number on it. It's a call to install number. As I said before, third party, Walmart.com. You know, I put that on there just because uh, it's not their fault. It, it worked for five months, then it quit. You know, it's user error. Nothing to do with the company. It's very common. An Optiplex painted just like an Optiplex. You got the overspray. It just ain't quality control. Uh, how's this look in here? First thing I notice is this is unplugged and that pretty much tells it that the case door is shut. So let's plug this back in. Okay, that's plugged back in. Don't know why. Maybe they've been into it before. The hard drive. Always check your plug-ins. That's the first thing I do with any computer. Instead of seeing if it turns on, I usually just take the cover off and just do a quick check. Make sure everything is good to go. CD-ROM. It uses those. I bet we got 8 gigs of RAM. You know, gaming computer. It's got 8 gigs. Windows usually takes 6 gigs to run. So you actually got 3 gigs free to play games on. Yeah, it's also pretty nice. Maybe it's a 16. 1600, 8 gigs. Not the fastest RAM. DDR3. So this computer already is older now i'm not going to look oh when you put your ram back in there make sure you line the tab up and uh just make sure it snaps down in this ain't a how-to video this is a troubleshooting video now the graphics card is all plugged in it looks okay uh it's a gt730 and my shut on in So, does it power on? What's the power button on an Optiplex? It's been a while. Oh yeah, it's booting. Uh, my screen. I need my remote. Vizio. Been a great TV. I think I overkilled it though with a troubleshooting TV. It takes up like the whole wall. HDMI 2. There we go. So the no signal issue is what happened. You're a GT730, and you ain't putting out nothing. Not putting out nothing HDMI-wise, that is. So this is an Intel CPU. It does got onboard graphics. You know, I could try that. So I put a fresh Windows on it. It took some time. Uh, the RAM had to be moved. It threw a cold in BIOS. So we moved the RAM for over. Okay, so that was simple enough. 
The BIOS told a lot once you got into it. It's very old. It's a 2015 model with an i5 fourth gen that's in this PC. It's, you know, the BIOS is pretty basic for this board, but it does have some customization. Uh, it's got the newer UEFI stuff on it, so that it was a legacy, so we, we changed that. Uh, it actually does work through the display port on the motherboard. And it does work through the video card now. As before, it wasn't. And it does go to fresh windows. So it was a simple fix. I guess when they updated it, it just got corrupted. Or the windows did. And it just, you know, maybe power got shut off or something. It, it just didn't take the update. And it's not an SSD. It's a hard drive, so it takes it a few moments those are new windows it's a working it's working pretty good the only issue i have with it right now is when you shut it down it don't want to go off it wants to keep running but this windows is an older version of windows it's not did any of its updates yet so a chipset driver and a couple updates should fix the shutting off issue but the main thing is it's up and running. So we saved another Optiplex. It's pretty much a simple fix. I overcomplicated it. I should have just went straight just check and see from Windows install. But I had a display port and I had to take it to my other uh, desk, hook it up to a little monitor, and once I got there, I was able to get into BIOS from the Intel's onboard graphics because it wasn't display nothing out. Uh, once you got Windows installed, it would, uh, it's got a, you know, basic get by this, oops, uh, get by display driver on it. So the 710 or 730 started working again. Don't know why I called it 710. But I tossed him another stick of RAM in there. It's got two RAM slots. They both tuck up. It seems to work fine. It, it should do him, hopefully. He enjoys it. And maybe he can save some money and build him a, a decent budget once GPUs go down. Gaming computer, because... This Optiplex is going to just last so long as 2015. Nothing against Dell or Optiplex. They decent computers. Just, they can game okay. It's just, there ain't no upgradability to them. You can only go so big on the graphics card to fit it in the case. And nothing is standard size, so nothing ever fits, and you can't hardly replace them. And that's another subject. So, if you're new, be sure to get subscribed. Let me know what brought you to this video. I enjoy hearing from everyone. And if you're a returning uh, subscriber, thank you for watching another one of my videos. I upload daily content just in case you didn't know. So check back daily. See you next time.